which part of the tooth is responsible for grinding and crushing the food the options crown enamel dentin or molars the right answer is molars the molars are the flat teeth at the back of the mouth responsible for grinding and crushing the food question number 1 what is the primary function of the digestive system the options respiration circulation digestion and excretion the correct answer is digestion the main purpose of the digestive system is to break break down food into nutrients that the body can absorb and use it question number 2 where does the majority of nutrient absorption occur in the digestive system the options stomach small intestine large intestine or esophagus The right answer is small intestine. The small intestine is the primary site for the absorption of nutrients including carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Question number 3. Which enzyme is responsible for breaking down carbohydrates into sugars? The options amylase, lipase, protease or nuclease The right answer is amylase. Amylase is an enzyme that breaks down complex carbohydrates into simpler sugars like glucose. Right? Question number 4 What is the role of bile in digestion? The options emulsify fats break down proteins activate enzymes or absorb water the right answer is emulsify fats bile emulsifies fats breaking them into smaller droplets to enhance digestion by lipases right question number 5 Which organ produces insulin to regulate blood sugar levels? The options: liver, pancreas, gall bladder, or stomach. The right answer is pancreas. The pancreas produces insulin to regulate blood glucose levels and facilitate the uptake of glucose by cells. Question number 6 What is the function of the stomach in digestion? The options absorption of nutrients, storage of food, final digestion of carbohydrates or production of bile. The right answer is storage of food. The stomach stores food initiates protein digestion and releases it in controlled amounts to the small intestine friends you're watching the 100 most repeated mcqs of human digestion system i'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part of this video if you want the video then please click on this i button or the link has been given in the descriptions please visit our descriptions and watch it completely to get the benefits Which of the following is not a part of small intestine? The options: duodenum, jejunum, ileum, or colon. The right answer is colon. The colon is a part of the large intestine, not the small intestine. Question number eight. What is the function of the gall bladder? The options produce bile, 
store bile, break down proteins or absorb nutrients. The correct answer is store bile. The gallbladder stores bile produced by the liver and releases it into the small intestine to aid in fat digestion. Next question, question number 9. Which substance neutralizes the stomach acid in the small intestine? Your options, pepsin, pepsin, hydrochloric acid, bicarbonate or gastrin. The right answer is bicarbonate. Bicarbonate is released into the small intestine to neutralize acidic chyme coming from the stomach. Question number 10. What is the main function of the large intestine? Your options. Absorption of water, digestion of proteins, absorption of nutrients or emulsification of fats. The right answer is absorption of water. The large intestine primarily absorbs water from the remaining indigestible food, forming feces. Question number 11. What is the function of mucus in the stomach lining? Your options, absorption of nutrients, protection of stomach lining, production of enzymes or breaking down proteins. The right answer is protection of stomach lining. The mucus in the stomach provides a protective barrier against the Corrosive effects of stomach acid. Question number 12. Which organ stores and releases bile into the small intestine? Your options liver, pancreas, gallbladder, stomach. The right answer is gallbladder. The gallbladder stores and releases bile which aids in the digestion of fats in the small intestine. Next question. What is the function of this finster muscles in the digestive system? Your options. Mixing and churning of food, propelling food through the digestive tract, absorption of nutrients or regulating the flow of materials between digestive organs. The right answer is regulating the flow of materials between digestive organs. The sphincter muscles act as a walls controlling the movement of materials between different parts of the digestive system. Next question. Which of the following is a function of the pancreas in digestion? Your options. Storage of bile. Production of insulin secretion of gastric juice or production of digestive enzymes. The right answer is production of digestive enzymes. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes that are released into the small intestine to further break down of food. Right? Next question. What is the primary function of the appendix in the human body? This question is very popular and it was repeated twice in the series. Let me see how many of you get the answer. Your options. Digestion of proteins, storage of bile, production of hormones or immune system function. The right answer is immune system function. The appendix plays a role in the immune system, containing lymphoid tissue that contributes to immune responses. Next question. What is the main function of the enzyme pepsin in the stomach? Your options. 
breakdown of fats breakdown of proteins breakdown of carbohydrates or absorb nutrients the correct answer is breakdown of proteins the pepsin is a gastric enzyme that breaks down proteins into smaller peptides next question which part of the tooth is responsible for grinding and crushing the food the options crown enamel dentin or molares the right answer is molars the molars are the flat teeth at the back of the mouth responsible for grinding and crushing the food next question what is the primary role of the colon in the digestive system the options digestion of proteins absorption of nutrients storage of bile or absorption of water and electrolytes the right answer is absorption of water and electrolytes the colon primarily absorbs water and electrolytes from the undigested food forming feces next question which substance activates pepsinogen to its active form pepsin in the stomach the options hydrochloric acid bile insulin or amylase the right answer is hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid in the stomach activates pepsinogen converting it into the active enzyme pepsin next question what is the purpose of the pyloric sphincter in the digestive system the options mixing and churning of food regulating the flow of materials into the small intestine propelling food through the esophagus or absorbing nutrients the right answer is regulating the flow of materials into the small intestine the pyloric sphincter controls the releases of chyme from the stomach into the small intestine next question Which of the following is a function of saliva in digestion? The options: protein digestion, starch digestion, fat digestion or absorption of nutrients. The right answer is starch digestion. Saliva contains amylase, an enzyme that begins the digestion of starch into simpler sugars. Next question In the digestive process what is the role of peristalsis The options breaking down proteins mixing and churning of food absorption of nutrients or propelling food through the digestive tract The right answer is propelling food through the digestive tract The peristalsis is the muscular contraction and relaxation that moves food along the digestive tract. Question number 23. Which hormone stimulates the release of gastric juice in the stomach? The options: insulin, ghrelin, gastrin or leptin. The correct answer is gastrin. The gastrin stimulates the secretion of gastric juice including hydrochloric acid and pepsin. Question number 24. Where does the final absorption of nutrients and water and electrolytes okay occur in the digestive system? The options stomach, small intestine, large intestine or esophagus The right answer is large intestine 
the large intestine is primarily responsible for the absorption of water, electrolytes and some remaining nutrients. Question number 25th. Which enzyme is responsible for breaking down fats into fatty acids and glycerol? The options amylase, lipase, protease or nuclease. The correct answer is lipase. Lipase is the enzyme that breaks down fats, lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. Dear friends, what's the score out of 25? Please comment your score. Let me see how much have you improved in this human digestive system and the third part of this series will be uploaded on Monday at evening time. So keep watching our videos. And if you want to know more about medical videos, then please visit our channel. You'll be getting a lot of ideas, a lot of videos, and a lot of help for your upcoming exams. Thank you so much for watching.